everyone and welcome to Achieve with Karolina. I'm Karolina Romaniuk, your pediatric sleep specialist. And today I wanted to talk to you about silent reflux. I'd like to welcome my little friend, Mickey. We're actually just finishing his um, feeding, so just give me one second, okay? Finished? One second. Okay, let's give you a little burp. Uh, very nice. nice in your little stroller okay so Mickey's going to rest and digest right now and they'll give me a couple of minutes to actually talk about what silent reflux is and um, how you can get treated for it okay so um, silent reflux actually I have experienced it myself with my um, first son and we actually didn't even really know what it was we went to his we went to the pediatrician because I noticed that his throat was a little his throat was red you know he was coughing so I, you know, naturally, I took him to the pediatrician to see what was going on. So, um, a pediatrician said it was nothing really that serious, and but the coughing, the coughing persisted uh, for quite some time. Um, especially, I noticed after uh, like certain um, feedings. So, I decided to then go to an ENT. You know, being a mom, uh, deep down, I felt like there was something a little more that was uh, going on. So, uh, we took him to an ENT. The ENT did. Um, you know, like they evaluated him and they told me that he had silent reflux. So I started freaking out, you know, thinking, what is silent reflux? How could I not have known about this before? And they pretty much explained that, you know, a lot of parents don't realize when a child does have silent reflux because it's silent. <laughs> There's really not that many um, attributes that or signs that you would really, you know, put two and two together because they all mean a lot of things. So a couple of the signs that you would be looking for is one, obviously if the throat is visibly red. Um, two is if uh, when you place them down on a flat surface, if they start to kind of uh, scream, um, like they're you know like in, in pain or you know, um, but this is after feeding. So uh, some children, what they would do is they would sit up right away because the sitting position comforts them. Um, because when they're lying on a flat surface, everything is just kind of you know, mellowed out, uh, but when you're in a seated position, it eases any type of a reflux that's coming up from the stomach up. So um, it helps them. So if you notice that your child is usually in a seated position quite often, especially after feedings, I would also recommend you to take them to an ENT to um, check that out if they have any type of silent reflux. Um, another fe key feature is if they arch their back uh, or like they're trying to wrestle and get out of your arms when you're trying to feed them. That's also another factor. Um, you know, obviously if they're feeding, uh, the quantity that they're eating within the day starts to decrease. Or if they look like they're in pain when they're eating, that's also another key feature to that. So um, these are just, you know, a couple of things that you can look into. If you are experiencing them currently right now, I do highly recommend you to go to an ENT to have them evaluate your child to make sure to rule out silent reflux. Yet, if you do have that, you know, then they could provide you the next steps and a solution for that. Okay, so that's all for, I have for today. See you tomorrow, guys. Love ya, sweet dreams. Bye.